Hey guys, this video is going to be about how I met my husband and um, hopefully it's going to be a fun video. I have so much to talk about that I don't know how long it's going to be, but um, hopefully I make this a really good video. So um, I guess, I mean, I really don't even know where to start because <laughs> it's kind of a long story. Um, so I guess I wrote some notes down, but <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay. So first and foremost, um, we went to the same, we were going to the same school and, um, and this is really ironic because we went to the same school, um, we rode the same bus. We lived in the same neighborhood, so yeah, we were the same bus. But we lived in the same neighborhood, and we had the same friends. And we never really, like, talked. We never really, like, knew each other. We just, I don't even think we knew each other existed. That was really weird. Because we had all those things in common, and it was crazy. But we never really talked, or we never had any communication. We, I don't even think we, I, I didn't know that he existed, so... I don't know. Um, so anyway, so, <laughs> um, what happened and how we actually finally met is I had this guy friend named Matt and, um, he, him and Devin were good friends and, um, him and I were good friends too, me and Matt, but we had never all hung out together. It was weird. I was like his girl best friend and Devin was his boy best friend and <laughs> and um, one day Matt said hey I think you should meet this guy named Devin he's one of my friends we should all hang out and I was like okay cool and oh at this point I was 12 and Matt was like Maybe 14. I think he was two years older than me. But anyway, and then Devin was fixing to be 14. And I was, I think, I don't know, I don't really remember, but, <laughs> and I think I was about to be 13 and Devin was about to be 14. Yeah, because we're like a year and, and a month apart or something like that. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> I hope this is making sense. So anyways, um... So, he introduced us. Uh, well, he didn't introduce us yet. He said we should meet. And at that point, I was like, sure. And then Matt had mentioned, I think y'all would look cute together or something. And I was like, and I was like 13 or 12 or 13. And I was like, yeah, right. I said, I'm not worried about a relationship or anything. But you know how you are at that age. You think that, you know, love is the best thing in the world. And you just, you... I don't know, it's hard to explain, but you have this feeling in your heart and you think love is the best thing, but, um, anyways, so, <laughs> so, he showed me a picture in the yearbook of him, and I'm going to be completely honest, I thought he was, I wouldn't say ugly, but I thought, I didn't, he was not my type, I did not like him, okay, and I told Matt, I said no, I said Matt. I said, I'll be friends with the guy, but I'm not, I'm not going there. And, um, and so, and I had had like a few boyfriends. I don't even know if you'd call it a boyfriend, but I'd had a few guys that I'd crushed on or whatever. But anyway, so, <laughs> um, let's see that, that later that day or the next day or whatever, after Matt had said that we should meet. Uh, I got a call and it was from the, it was from Devin and so I remember talking to him I don't know probably not long but you know he was like flirting with me and you know guys at that age they they don't care but um, and at that point we weren't thinking we were gonna spend the rest of our lives with each other so anyway um so we um. I'm trying to, like, get my thoughts together. So, anyways, so we talked on the phone, and we decided to meet up. And, I actually, I had my friend spending the night with me. Her name was Catherine that night. So, um, I, I was like, sure, because it was, like, 10 o'clock that he wanted to, like, hang out. 
So I told him, because we lived in the same neighborhood, so I told him just to walk down to my house and hang out for a minute and just meet each other. So he came down, and he, um, I remember him walking up. He was so tall, like, so tall. And, of course, I'm tall for a girl, too. I'm, like, 5'11". I'm tall. But, um, and Devin is 6'5", I think. But it was crazy. So he was walking up. And from afar, he looked not he looked good, you know. And so when he walked up to me, he looked like the guy in the in the yearbook, and I was like, oh gosh, no, negative, never. <laughs> and so we just started um, talking and hanging out. Well, anyways, that same night, it was so funny. Um, let me see. I'm looking at my notes. Okay. Anyway. Um, that same night, we were, we didn't hang out, but probably, but like 15, 20 minutes, if even that. And we, I was sitting on the curb and he had sat beside me and he was like, he kissed me. And I didn't know what to do because I was like, eh, I guess I'll kiss back. I kissed him back. Um, but I, I didn't like him at this point. Now remember, I did not like him. So, let's see, what happened next? So, after that, after that night, me and my friend Catherine were like laughing about it because like it was hilarious because I didn't like him at all. And um, I think he he started calling me more and we, um, at that point I was like, I was kind of playing like, I wouldn't say hard to get because I wasn't playing hard to get, but I guess I was kind of messing with his head. I don't know. But anyway, and trust me, he's going to start messing with my head if you'll just Stay tuned. This story goes a long way. So, um, I, he asked me out to be his girlfriend or whatever, and I was like, sure. And so, even though I didn't like him, I just did that, I guess, to have a boyfriend. I don't know. I was 12, 13. Who cares? Anyway, so we dated, like, probably a week, okay? That's how crazy it was. And he ended up breaking up with me. Well, for some reason, when he broke up with me, I got so depressed, okay? And I was 13. I was so depressed. I was crying. And it just, like, broke my heart. And I couldn't believe it because I didn't even like him, or I didn't at first. Well, it turns out that he had grown on me. Like, his personality had grown on me. And, because he, he does, he has a really good heart. But he had just grown on me, and I just all of a sudden, like, fell in, like, in love. Head over heels for this guy. Um, but anyways, so, after that, um, after he broke up with me, we actually didn't talk for a while. Probably months, you know, down the road. And, um, but, you know, I remember we still had the same friends, we went to the same school, we rode the same bus, and it wasn't until after the fact that I started noticing that we rode the same bus, after all that drama. But, so I technically, like, saw him every day. But I didn't talk to him, so it was, I don't know. But anyway, so, um, after that, oh, it's so hard to remember some of this stuff because it's been so long. Um, yeah, so, <laughs> sorry, I had like, I'm just trying to think. So after that, um, we actually started talking again, and after we started talking, um, we were just friends after that. I mean, I think I had eventually, I eventually like gotten over him and I had, I was started talking to this other guy um, that I don't want to mention his name because he's ridiculous. But anyway, <laughs> um, so I, at this point I started talking to another guy and we actually, me and this other guy were together for two years, I think, um, on and off two years. And, um, so I think I was, like, 16 now or something like that after all that. And then, and then, of course, Devin and I had, we had, we were still friends throughout this time I was with this other guy. Um, but after me and this guy broke up, um, me and Devin became best friends. It was, like, it was crazy. Um, but... Even though we were best friends, I secretly, I guess it wasn't a secret, I don't know. But I was, like, in love with him still. And he knew it. He could tell, okay? Everybody knew around me. 
Everybody like told him that I liked him. Of course, he already knew. It's it was obvious. But <laughs> and he even tells me now, looking back, that he knew. Come on, it was very obvious. But so that's really like we were just best friends for years. And, um, of course, like I said, I, I, I liked him and he didn't, I don't know, I, I don't know if he liked me, but, um, maybe I grew on him. I don't know. But anyway, um, so we were just best friends and then what else happened? And of course there was ins and outs through all that. There was a girl that he was with for a little bit that I despised and I still have a form of not hatred because I don't hate anybody but it it's not hate but it's very close to that I don't know what you'd call it but I strongly dislike her and um, I still do for for many reasons um, but anyways um <laughs> so there was a lot of drama that happened in between that but we're not gonna go there but anyway that's how I actually met him is through um, a friend but it was ironic because we went to the same school and the neighborhood and the bus and all that stuff. We had the same friends. Um, so anyway, so after that, um, we actually got together. I forgot, like, I guess it was, I was in my, this was my senior year of high school, I remember. Um, because we got together the month. We got together in the summer of 2009. Like, actually got together, like, as boyfriend and girlfriend again. And I don't really remember. I guess it was my senior year. Um, we were still best friends at this point. But he was... This is where it was starting to inch toward more than friendship. Because um, I would go to his house, and we would, like, cuddle and... Um, just stuff like that. And you don't do that with just a friend. So it was kind of getting to that. But it, it that lasted for probably six months or so. And then he finally, like I, and I remember sitting in his, in his car, like telling him how, my, how my, my feelings and how I felt and that I really liked him and I, I loved him. And I wanted to take our friendship to the next level and... Everything like that. And finally, it took a while, but he finally, like, he said, yeah. He said, let's try this. Let's do it. So, we officially got together, and he, we officially had that talk on, um, August 20th, 2009. And then, so that was that. And then, um, we've been together ever since. We got married, um, January 4th, 2013. So we were together about three and a half years or something like that before we actually got married. Um, but you gotta, rem you gotta remember that we were best friends but way before that. But anyways, um, uh, that's really all of it, I guess. That would, it didn't take that long, but, <laughs> um, but that's really the gist of it. That's how we met. I have another video I want to show y'all um, that I'm working on. It's, um, I don't know what I'm going to call it yet, but it's, I guess it's, it's actually going to be an inspirational video because it's where he went from a bad boy type to this awesome Christian guy. And it's, it's going to be kind of a long one because it's it's a it's gonna be a long story but um I'm gonna do that and I, I was debating on putting both of them into one but then I was like well no because the inspirational video should be a video to itself but anyways um I'm gonna go cook dinner and I will try to upload this soon um why am I telling y'all that because you're not going to see it until I actually upload it anyways. Woo! Anyway. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. And I'll include some pictures of us before we started dating um, at the end of this. And, and then I'll include some 
after we got, I've only got a few of when we've been married, because we've only been married a month and a half or so, almost two months, so. So anyways, um, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I will talk to y'all guys later. Bye.